Republic team. And uh, you can see two of the fighters there with the Czech Republic soccer and one with the Denmark soccer. This is, of course, permitted. And so after making this up the numbers is most important. France one versus Finland one. Teams, please get ready. First round, fighters ready. And the marshal calls the fight. start of the fight there. You can see the uh, Ukrainians going uh, for last place, a rush coming on there from the Czech Republic team, going straight into these uh, Ukrainian fighters. Hack coming down there from the Czech Republic fighter. And they've got a lot of space to work with there, so they'll have to use it as best as possible. So much aggression there coming from the Ukrainian fighter, and the Czech Republic fighter has been taken down. Two Ukrainian fighters now working on the Danish fighter. Great takedown there. And that's a Ukraine. victory there for, for the Ukraine. Round. I did actually see a, a kick there from one of the uh, Ukrainian fighters as the Czech Republic fighter or Danish fighter was going down. It didn't seem particularly necessary. And they have three Second round. Czech Republic soccer Fighters now. Ready. Fight! So much support there again for this uh, Czech Republic team. Some uh, cautious moves uh, there. Great hack to the uh, back of the Ukrainian fighter. Some great aggression from the loose Ukrainian fighter on the side. Forcing these Czech fighters now into the side. So it digs there coming from the Czech Republic, and there's a lock on the side of the list for all of the fighters there. And a uh, aggression there coming from uh, all the Ukraine, and that's a great takedown there for Ukraine. The Czech Republic now have a lot of difficulty coming back from this, as you have two of the Ukraine fighters, and that's a great takedown there. Very nice there from. And Ukraine. With the result, two to zero. The victory goes to Ukraine one. Uh, a nice victory there. And next on the list, France one versus Finland one. After them, Argentina one versus Russia one. Teams, please get ready and come to the list. Some support there for the Finnish team, and you can say they've got a mercenary from Serbia with them. They have a number of reserves there as well. And the uh, opponents, the French team, take their place in the list now. 
tady na Petříně vyvrcholí, ale před námi už je další souboj. Tentokrát to bude bitva mezi Finskem a Francií. And we are ready to start the fight between France 1 and Finland 1. First round. Fighters ready? Fight! And a big cheer there for the Finnish team as some uh, rapid movement will load from the French fighters who are uh, some of quite a height advantage there. The, the whole bit of uh, storming through. Some great strikes there against that uh, Serbian mercenary fighter using the mace. And, uh, some nice uh, some good, uh, strikes there, some nice movement now from the uh, from the French. And uh, I think the, uh, the Finnish fighter could have capitalized a little more on the space that was given to her. Uh, for three clinches now and uh, quite close there from the uh, from those very, very precise kick there. Didn't quite, it's quite enough to get a takedown. And uh, the great thing about this, they're really trying to slug it out. Like some uh, nice pressure there from the uh, Finn, however. French uh, a big force and already you can see some of the, some of the tightness setting in and a nice headbutt there from the French fighter. A Serbian hacks away at the French. And you can see uh, there's a bit more energy coming in from the French fighter there. Thrusting the head into the armor of the Finn. See a slight breakaway there, no fighters down yet. And uh, you can see now France seems to be showing a little bit more energy, demonstrating a bit more stamina than the Pesela. That's a great shot there. France now with an advantage. They've got to pull through. Big shot there, and a follow up headbutt there from the fence. Well, that, that's a great take down Stop there. Fight. Stop fight. Very, very close there Three at the beginning. France. That's some excellent work Please from France. So a uh, hard fought round there. Also some great precision though from the uh, French and making a slightly better use of their attacks. Going in with some headbutts, kicks, as well as strikes with the weapons. And you see here some, uh, some nice body shots there. Very, very precise. This uh, French, a nice combo there. Moving from uh, from a leg shot to a head shot. You see the Finn, however, thrusting the shield in the helmet of the French fighter. And you can see a good charge there from the French, but it was too close to the list to be effective. And we move into round two. So I remember if, uh, if there's a stalemate or if there's no clear winner, for example, if there are two fighters remaining in the round and they both go down together, and of course, that round is voided and it goes Second to another one we just saw yesterday ready. one of the five versus five Fight. bouts which went to a fifth round and a lovely charge there from the Finns and a big cover there for the French so, you know, uh, moving there some nice aggression from this French team big support there for the Finnish team however and uh, there's some nice shots suddenly uh, the French have the size advantage there see uh, some great strikes coming down from the fin to the side of the French fighter, but uh, just reali retaliated. And a uh, weapon change there. So of course you see in case of breakages or the loss of a weapon. Stop! Uh, stop. Can stop there, perhaps because of an armor. Wait, ah, I see the, the helmet actually came off the Finnish right. fighter there. So I think they have to, in that case, the Finnish fighter can. Obviously, need the next one. That's a big take down there for Finland. Evening out the score now. Two versus two. You can see there's some 
some nice moves there from the Finnish fighters. And uh, I'm going to drag the Finland fighter down, who is now holding on to the list. So all that energy that the French fighter is putting in. I'm going to have to save it because uh, this fight is uh, not going anywhere. Of course, a big shot there from the French fighter. And some... Uh, and that's a, that's a big to oh, and the Finland fighter's gone down as well for a double takedown. Massive blows there to the helmet of the Finnish fighter. And uh, little in the way of response at this point from Finland. And they're pushing away and uh, both fighters have to be careful in case they trip over the already grounded fighters. The marshals, I think, just checking rather than trying to stop the action there. And that is a takedown for Finland. You see now some uh, confident shots there from uh, Finland. I get the feeling that uh, the French fighters just ran out of steam at the One end there. But it's uh, it'll take it to a third round, and that's. A positive second round for Finland. You can see here, sir, so not connecting their shots against the Finns, the French, and well, it's Finland with a the victory then. Third round. Friends, fighters there taking a taking quite a while to organise themselves for this third and final round. Fighters ready. Fight. And we. Uh, get underway and uh, the French holding back a little bit there what a great strike there to the head of the fin and already there was a Finnish fighter on the ground big strikes there coming in for the pole arm and, uh, there's a cross for a leg swim there they were very very close and, uh, the French do have the advantage of numbers here but are uh, forced back to the edge of the list Chopping away at the legs of the Serbian fighter who is representing Finland in this big shot to the head there. And of the, the French here, there's a nice shot from the fast of the helmet of the Finn there. And there's some nice uh, switching going on with the French team there. And a thrusting headbutt. And there. Really uh, hacking away rather than uh, getting too involved in these clinches. It's great to see uh, all this work with the uh, with the weapons. Uh, the nice thing, of course, is that uh, the, it keeps the keeps the fight open. And, uh, trying to sweep away the legs of the uh, serving fighter there. Some big chops which are well deflected. A nice running headbutt again from the French fighter. You can see some uh, TARDIS setting in. The Serbian fighter there now trying to work on the legs of that 
French fighter. And uh, he's holding onto the list now. And you can see how hard the fighter is pulling her down. Putting all her weight into it. And uh, that's a double takedown there. And nicely done from the French team. Two, two, one. The victory goes to France, one. Oh, well, there must be a really tired after that close fought battle. And next on the list, Argentina, one versus Russia, one. Then Poland, one versus Netherlands, one. And Ukraine, one versus Argentina, one. Teams, please get ready and come to the list. You can see that after the point where the, uh, the first fin fin had been taken down. And some nice movement from the French there and coming in from behind. A nice switching tactic. I have of uh, moving to the opponent and allowing a second uh, French fighter to, to come in. Some big shots for the shield there. You can see that. The big French fighter is some very, very aggressive strikes. Fighter Shelby from Team France gets yellow card for hidden into forbidden area. And there was an illegal strike there, so that's a yellow card for France. And uh, well, the French fighter there seems to have heard that uh, announcement, but doesn't seem very happy about it. Here we have the uh, the Russian three versus three team. And we have one of the uh, Argentina one versus Russia one. The Russian uh, team, of course, are already developed uh, fighters in this category, the women's division of the sport. We have the Argentinian fighters there, and if I'm not wrong, they've got a, a mercenary from Chile. Fighters ready? Fight! And uh, see the, uh, the Russians moving around, they're actually boxing in these uh, Argentinian fighters. Some, uh, very aggressive strikes there from the Russian women. And uh, after a big takedown there, some huge strikes. And a very, very nice so move fight, from the Argentina. So and two Argentinians have been Three taken down already. Russia. That's a quick result there. And you saw how they uh, surrounded those Argentinian fighters there. So the Argentina is certainly going to have to open up their line a little bit if they uh, separate the Russian fighters so they can't uh, can't double team any of them. Second round, fighters ready, fight! Uh, a very very fast start there from Russia, big headshot against the Argentinian. Some massive strikes there coming down from uh, so that, that double take down there, which takes it to two versus two. And uh, some aggression here from the Argentinian fighters, some nice strikes, and it is all this Argentinian uh, fashion, the lower part of the list, and you can see the Russian trying to take down the Argentinian there, and uh, a substitute weapon is uh, taken by the Argentinian, who are uh, but now in a clinch, and you can see how uh, the Russian is really trying to pull down some good strikes there to the head of the Argentinian fighter. But uh, the Argentinian is holding on. You can see now the Russian is uh, holding on, trying to sweep the legs there. And uh, that's a big tight enough to make it two versus one. And the Russians will need to take the arm out and go straight for the arm. And that is a great teamwork there from Russia. Two zero, Russia. And, and the result, uh, two to zero. The victory goes to Russia one. And the fans are very, very supportive there. And next on the list, Poland won versus Netherlands won. And Ukraine won versus Argentina won. Teams, please get ready and come to the list.
and we are waiting for Poland 1 and Netherlands 1. Teams, you have one minute to come to the list. You see now the uh, Polish team coming to the list who've got the uh, default win in the first match because unfortunately uh, Germany were not able to participate. And uh, I think it's actually because there was an injury for one of the German fighters. And you can see uh, this Dutch team here with a number of mercenaries. So they've got an American fighter and a German fighter. And I think I saw one of the uh, Polish team there, perhaps with the, uh, the Australian colors. That's a fantastic armor there, the American fighter. And uh, I believe that's the, uh, the Dutch captain them the captain of the entire team not just the First round. women's three versus three board fight that is a very cautious getaway there but the uh, Dutch fighter uh, low guard there they're very very compact well, they might want to open it out a little you can see the huge weapon there of the uh, that pole they go straight with some great aggression there from the uh, German fighter, forcing the pole back with some chops to the helmet. Oh, it finds itself in a, in a clinch there, and uh, uh, great aggression there from the American strikes to the head. And there's a, uh, it's broken off into three clinches there. And uh, the poles trying to come back for it, and I think they're putting their weight into this and you can see there the uh, the Dutch fighter is trying to pull down that pole but it's uh it's gonna be difficult when she's got that arm on the list uh, some uh, nice work there from the uh, the American fighter and uh, there's a good takedown there and in fact yeah it's now even a huge hit to the head there of that Polish fighter however And uh, I think that was actually an illegal blow there from the from the pole, so she has been disqualified from this round. And uh, the German fighter there is going to need to start working on the arm of the pole. Big shots coming into the head of the pole. Massive energy coming down. And there's some nice strikes there to the face. And you can see that pole arm there. It's really doing quite a number on this Polish fighter. However, it's, uh, it's also draining the energy of that American there, representing Holland. And so now they're going to try and pull away, but the, the Polish fighter is not going to achieve anything by keeping her arms on the side of the list. I mean, she's standing up. However, the German and the American there are going to spend more energy in trying to wear her down. see some uh, encouragement from the back lines there and again you can see totally immobilized is that uh, weapon there the energy really draining there so they're gonna have to go for some strikes to the head yeah big shots there and a retaliation however now from the ball who's uh, more active this is all these clean strikes connecting and all the fighters there take a break and uh, the american may want to try to use that long pole arm to try and drag it down and that's even it out that's a great take down there for poland however the american Desperately trying to get the pole down. That's fantastic work. And a very really long round there. 
Now a Polish fighter really well, literally holding on. Yeah, got a, got a great takedown, however, against the, the German before she herself went down. And you can see there's some great aggression from that. Uh, Fighter Grimm from Dean Netherlands gets yellow card for piercing things. Okay, I don't quite understand the reason there. Already two yellow cards now, one for the French team for striking in the forbidden area. I think it was actually behind the knee. And the Dutch team here made up of mercenaries. You can see uh, a Chilean fighter joining them. Now, the only difficulty with these mercenary fighters is that they haven't had the opportunity to train with each other. And it's very, very important to understand how uh, how fighters move, how they train, how they advance. Second round. And without this, it does lack coordination. And some, uh, some fighters haven't got a very advanced or collective composure. And the uh, marshal there just checking the helmet of the Dutch fighter. Something's not attached well enough. And it seems that uh, maybe slightly dangerous there, but the marshal's okay with it now. Oh, she's not. It's going to have to be adjusted. Well, uh, well, the Dutch uh, assistants see to uh, fixing that helmet. They're actually giving the, uh, the American fighter her helmet there so she can take her place. Team Netherlands, the time is out. Please come to the list. You have ten seconds. Well, uh, count out there, and well, they make it in time. Of course, the round would go to uh, Fighters ready. the Polish if Fight. the fighter was not able to arrive in the list of time. But this is some nice, uh, great aggression there from that. Ah, oh, it's a big takedown there. Didn't take long at all. And I think that's uh, one of the Israeli fighters representing Poland there. So I smacks to the head there, grinding away. But that uh, big American fighter, this Chilean fighter is going to expect to rush from the back then. Lovely takedown there. Oh, and that, uh, that Israeli fighter there representing Poland did uh, some stunning work there and got, got both of those takedowns herself. And it comes to the wire. One round apiece. You can see there an early takedown from the Israeli fighter who then uh, she charges the uh, American fighter. Big shots there to the head. And again, but she then uh, sees that not the not the best uh, action to do. Notices that the uh, 
The Australian fighter there is uh, holding the Chilean. That's a huge shove there, and that's a great takedown. And uh, the third and final round. Now, once again, you see the uh, that Israeli fighter there, and that American fighter, the German back in there. Uh, very, very cautious. This you can see the, uh, the Australian fighter running around the side there, and the German fighter goes straight for the. Uh, Israeli, who is now being attacked by two of the fighters there, the Dutch fighter fending off uh, about that, and that's a big takedown for Poland. Now that an Australian fighter there took down the Germans, some great moves there, and you can see this uh, very, very strong uh, Israeli fighter charging with us into the list. And uh, looking for a takedown, and, and yes, the Dutch fight is down. 2-1 victory for Poland. Zero, Poland. And with the result 2-1, the victory goes to Poland 1. Very impressive there. The Poles came from being down the around. Least, First Ukraine round going to Argentina one. Netherlands. Then Czech Republic 1 versus Russia 1. Teams, please get ready and come to the Let's list. Big strikes there from the Australian fighter. And uh, again, a nice thrust in with the shield there. And the German there working on the Israeli who eventually took her down. You could see that great engagement there from the Australian fighter. Joe is there for uh, sort of a couple of the technical errors there, which we're working on. We just uh, missed that interview with the Polish fighter. But we now move into the fight between Ukraine and Argentina. That's a nice movement from the side there from uh, Ukraine. It's a nice rush and already an early takedown. That's a charging strike there from the Ukraine on the second Argentinian. Very, very nice thrust there from the Argentinian fighter. And these Ukrainians do have the upper hand now and uh, can't quite get a grip on that. Uh, Argentine there, who did well to move away. Big strikes, and that will stop the fight. Nice teamwork there from the Ukrainians. And you could just see there, with the one uh, Argentinian hot down, you could get some great <coughs> examples of teamwork. Second round. Fighters ready. Fight. And we. Go to the second round here, the uh, Ukrainians closing in early on uh, to these Argentinians who take the fight straight to the edge of the list. And some good, good aggression there being shown by this Argentinian team who uh, charge charging with a kick there. Also big retaliation from the uh, Ukraine team, however. And one of the Argentine fighters is already down. So the Ukrainian now 
with the advantage in numbers, will be looking to uh, bring this match to an end. And, uh, well, the helmet has come up on the Ukrainian fighter, so she will be out and she has to move out for her safety. And you can see these two very evenly matched fighters. Very, very aggressive Argentine fighter, however. Both seem to be tired. You can see the Ukrainian is just uh, holding onto the list there. Not showing much aggression, and it's uh, more coming from the Argentine at this point. Uh, but she needs to uh, start working on the uh, the legs of the Ukraine if she's to take her down. Certainly, uh, Argentina with the upper hand here. As we come to a very difficult point, very, very close now for the uh, Argentinian fighter. And the Ukrainian somehow is still standing, but not for long. Ah, that's an emphatic win there for Argentina. Superb display of aggression there shown by that last Argentinian fighter, which uh, takes us to a decider. You can see a great rush coming in there. And that uh, some big strides coming from the Ukrainian fighters. And the uh, Ukrainian was very, very un unlucky to lose her helmet, which of course meant she was out of the. Uh, you see the Argentin Argentinians there. Huge Russian kick there. Ukraine with an early getaway there. Pulling down that same side of the list and already holding on to the side of the list. Some nice aggression being shown by the Ukrainian there. Big shots coming to the head. A little bit imprecise with some of these strikes, but uh, and, uh, that's a, the fight's been called there. I think it's because uh, yeah, two Argentinians have been grounded already. Uh, you see, there's a, say a helmet on the ground. In fact, the Argentinian this time lost her helmet. 2 1 victory there for Ukraine. And next on the list, Czech Republic 1 versus Russia 1. Then Poland 1 versus Finland 1. Teams, please get ready and come to the list. Tak jste to slyšeli už za malý moment se představí reprezentace Česka. Ano, ale proti Češkám bude stát nejtěžší možný soupeř. Proti Češkám budou Rusky. Yeah, it's really fun. I like the fight and uh, I just love it. It's fun having the adrenaline coming uh, on, uh, on the fight. How has it been with the team Ukraine? It was pretty hard, but I, I put one girl down and it's so fun. I'm so proud. Do you think we will see next year Team Canada here too? Uh, we're trying. Uh, we have a team in Quebec, so we're trying to come here, but it's far and uh, it's... We hope to see you next year. Good luck. Good. Thank you. And the Russians here waiting for the Czech Republic, who have got obviously a lot of crowd support him. And we are getting ready to start the fight between Czech Republic 1 and Russia 1. Just a slight check from the marshal. The strap of that uh, Danish fighter who is representing the Czech Republic. Yeah. 
Yeah, and already the crowd get going. Well, these Russians got some great support with them. First round, fighters ready, fight! So a nice take down there from the Russian who comes into the side of that Danish fighter who has no response there. And this 2-1 advantage there, just uh, split off so the uh, the Russian can see. Well, that's uh, some big strikes coming to the, uh, the side of the uh, Czech fighter there. And this Russian desperately trying to take down the uh, Czech opponent. Of course, she could go down herself because it will not make a difference to the numbers the fight would be called if there is only one. Temerson strikes these uh, Czech fighters are uh, holding off this attack. And makes uh, strikes there with uh, Buckler. And that uh, Czech fighter there trying to resist and that it's a big takedown there. However, it is two against one. Great takedown there for the uh, Czech fighter. And uh, the two Russians, however, make short work of a great fight there. Let's get ready for the second round. And so the early pattern of the day, a great side strike there as you can see uh, both of the Czech fighters forced into the side of the list and the Russian not quite able to connect with the strikes there you can see all the weight going into pulling down that Czech fighter Second round, strikes to the uh, so there from the Russian, and uh, the Russians, in fact, uh, are taking it to the side. However, they've got uh, three Czech fighters who are going to rush that lone uh, Russian fighter there. Again, the Russian is uh, trying to take out the legs, some big strikes to the back of the head, and that's a good takedown, however, for Russia, who come up very, very aggressively against this Czech fighter who goes for a takedown herself. Oh, that's a Stop great fight. take Stop down fight. there. Three Slammed on the back there. And with the result 2 to 0, the victory goes to Russia 1. Uh, not sure if the Czech fighter is okay there. As it seems so. And next on the list, Poland 1 versus Finland 1. You can see uh, getting one. stuck in there with some Ukraine one versus Russia great one. shots from Team that uh, Czech fighter who was not least. able to. Like a big impact on the taller Russian opponent. You can see uh, the Czech fighter resisting a takedown. That was very, very impressive work there. You can see how the Russians are swiping their legs, of course, to go for that takedown, but couldn't quite get it. Of course, uh, when it did come about, it was done forcefully. Czech Republic is with us here. Uh, how has the fight been for you? Uh, you have been fighting with Russians. Uh, how hard was it? It's uh, very good. Your impression? My impression it's good and I need Poland to train more because uh, they were really strong Japanese. and uh, they know what to do. But I think that Russians, Ukrainians, they have professional trainers, sponsors, and that's very different uh, conditions to train than we have. How do you train? How does uh, Team Czech Republic train? We have trainings two or uh, three times a week in our gym. We have some uh, boxing back there and doing some workouts for condition, doing workout for strength, and also technique, some wrestlings and. Uh, we train with guys uh, who is about uh, 100 and more kilos, so we have good trainers, but but we, we are not so strong as Russians. 
Okay, we wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Poland one, you have 30 seconds to come to the list. Poland receiving a, a 30 second warning there. They've got to hurry up and they're coming now. Well, they still seem to be missing one of the fighters who's uh, coming in now. Ten seconds. Well, they've been kind of down, however. There must be some sort of. Uh, Problem they're having. Well, the that ten seconds is now gone. And we're ready to start the first round between Poland one and Finland one. Well, here we are. Good first victory there from Poland against the Netherlands. Finland, however, first still round. looking to get their Fighters first ready. victory. Quiet! Alex, very, very yeah. compact Russian, uh, excuse me, Polish group there. And the first strikes coming from the uh, Finnish fighter, that big weapon of the, of the pole, who is uh, forced back to the edge of the list. And is not able to. Uh, but then these strikes are some big hits coming from the uh, Finnish fighter there. And uh, so the Finnish fighter turns around to look to see what else has been going on. And that's Serbian there. Representing Finland is uh, pouring the weight onto this Polish fighter who now grips onto the list. That's all in the corner. It's two against two there. Again, uh, both the Finnish fighters are loose there. They've got no grip on the list, whereas the Polish fighter is holding on. So uh, just able to uh, get an arm free there to strike. But uh, well, it's coming down now on the pole. Some big hits there from the Serbian with a mace. And the uh, Finnish fighter using a one-handed sword there just doesn't get the weight and damage. Uh, required of a, a larger weapon, which of course would be quite cumbersome. However, we've got to get these big hits, and you can see the pole there with uh, Falchion, which has uh, come free. And the Polish fighter there really holding on. That Serbian has got showing some tremendous strength, and I think the, the, the pole of the fin seems to be. Uh, Holding on to the opponent's uh, weapon there, which of course is an illegal move. And the uh, Finn trying to get some strikes there. And this uh, Serbia now finds herself in trouble because it's been turned round. And the pole is now trying to pull down that Serbian. Again, uh, I wonder how much longer this can go on. And the Finn gets the pole pulled away from the edge of the list. Who uh, may be going down if she can just bring her a little further forward. And the uh, Finn there. Ah, and that's a double takedown. What well, a great result there for Finland. Please get ready for the second round. And, uh, Polish team there didn't start with much aggression. Forced to the side of the list. However, they did come from one round down last time to, to triumph over the Netherlands. You can see here great aggression coming from that Finnish fighter. The, the shots are lacking a bit of proficient, uh, precision, so looks around to see uh, if there might be a possibility of a rush to uh, knock the opponent off uh, balance. I can see that a big Serbian fighter making life very, very difficult for 
the pole there. Eventually got her down, but it was a double takedown, so she wasn't able to take it down without going down herself. And uh, that's an early charge there from uh, from Poland. This is uh, some very, very nice work there. There's a big rush coming in from that Israeli who uh, goes to work. And the Australian now, already, and one fighter's been taken down from Finland, so it'll be three against two here. Now uh, the Poles are taking it to the Finns, and that is the end. That's uh, two versus one there. So it will continue. You've got the Australian there throwing these blows at the Finn. Of course, the, uh, the Israeli fighter there rolls onto this, has got the Finn firmly in her grip, and the Finn not able to uh, get much movement out of this. Very restricted, and that's a big takedown there. Great sweep there from the Australian. Oh, that was very nice when you got a, a much more aggressive uh, start from Poland there, that uh, Israeli fighter chasing down the Finns. So once again, Poland pull it back. And you can see here, great charge there into the side of the list. And you can, uh, you can see that loose Finn there who falls victim to the Polish team. Big strikes coming down there from the uh, first from the Australian. And then of course the, uh, the Finn on that very rapid Israeli fighter representing Poland. Huge jump there. And uh, it was a great takedown of that Finn. Of course, got the sweep with the last Third one. Round. Fighter is ready. Fight! And uh, slightly more cautious approach there. The, uh, he's trying to go in early on. Oh, that is an awesome takedown. Straight away, the Poles. Thank you, move that, and that's uh, the big shot. Stunning Stop work fight. there from Poland. 3-0, Poland. And with the result 2-1, to one, the victory goes to Poland 1. Oh, and that is some uh, really, really great fighting. Next on the list, Ukraine 1 versus Russia 1. Then France 1 versus Netherlands 1. And Czech Republic 1 versus Argentina 1. Teams, please get ready and come to the least. Well, we saw some really uh, fast takedowns then. Again, once again, that Israeli fighter, fighter storming the Finn, taking them by surprise. And there she is. Well, there she was. Hi, which team do you represent? I represent in Poland, but I'm from Israel. Great, nice to meet you. How has it been so far? How, how are you enjoying the fight? Well, it's much fun. We're a strong team. We work together. Even though that we're from different countries, we have three girls from Poland. I'm from Israel and one girl from Austra Australia. We was making some training to, you know, make a team building, and we're doing great. We just won Finland. Yeah, we have just seen Hello, congratulations one more time. Um, uh, is it your first experience being a fighter here at Battle of the Nations? No, I'm fighting for uh, three years already. But this is the first time that Battle of Nations have an uh, official category for, uh, for women group fighting. Do you think it's a perspective category? Will we see it next year? I really hope so. I was working hard that this category will appear in this event, and I hope that the girls will make it uh, look good. Thank you very much. We wish you good luck. Thank you. And there's some words from the Israeli fighters, and of course she was uh, at the forefront of the decision made to include this category in the, uh, the Captain's Summit held last year in Prague. Great fighter there with a lot of experience, and you could see how fast she was taking down those Finns there. But the Finns. And we're getting ready to start the first round between Ukraine 1 and Russia 1. And now this promises to be an immense fight. Fight! And uh, the stalking there from the sides comes from the Russian fighters. That, uh, and there's a charge there into that uh, Ukrainian who responds well. With some very aggressive blows, a strike to the head there for the mace. And you can see there, a tall Ukrainian trying to box in 
that Russian. Oh, if she loses it for a moment, she can see that her teammate is in some, uh, some difficulty. They're being pulled down by that larger Russian. And there's a, there's a, there's a pull away there rather than a stop. And uh, the Russian now going for the sweeps. Uh, the one you can see, now the Ukrainian trying some, uh, some nice change of blows there coming through. And I think now that's uh, great, a Ukrainian fighter has now been taken down. And you got some big strikes there to the uh, right leg of the Ukrainian. And you can see here it's, uh, it's all Russia and the Ukrainians are uh, going to struggle to carry on here. However, this is no cakewalk for the Russians. Big strikes there, you can see the uh, the energy starting to dip, the marshals in very, very close to make sure that there are no illegal moves and uh, to ensure the safety of the fighters. And the uh, Ukraine has a strong grip on that uh, list. You can see there the Russian trying to get through. Big strikes there uh, coming down and uh, the marshals there seem to be quite cautious about uh, the grip that the Russian has on the Ukrainian. Now this is really going to the wire here. A, a charge and headbutt there for the Russian, the Ukrainians uh, find themselves boxed in. They're not even able to, uh, to get a shot in there and they have actually been uh, broken up there. And you can see uh, strikes coming in now from the Russian fighter, the Ukrainian, holding onto the list there. And not able to respond. That's uh, a lot of energy being spent now. They're all starting to tie. There may be a double takedown. Certainly, with uh, well, you, know, the, you can see the Russian now has an opportunity well, to get her breath back. She will, however, move into the uh, Ukrainian to try and wear her down. Strikes coming in from the uh, Russian on the arm of the Ukrainian. And a big headshot there. And she's gone to, uh, to change a weapon. And it has gone for a, a big foul shot there, which is uh, more effective on the arm than both Russians leaning on the Ukrainian there, trying to get that sweep, but absolutely immobile. Mountains moved. Uh, we've got, that's a double take down there. So it's now two versus one. And, uh, and the two fighters have broken up there for a clinch which uh, went off for more than 10 seconds. And the Ukrainian now chased into the back of the list by these two very aggressive Russians. Great kick there. Again, uh, got to be very careful, however. No, and in fact, I think that's, uh, that fight from uh, the Marshals tried to call that. There seemed to be a the dangerous stamp going on there, but the Night Marshal quite rightly allowed it. Again, the Marshals do have to, again, the, the fighters are being split up there. And there seemed to be a, maybe a hand on the weapon, a big kick there. Whoa, absolutely epic round there. It did go to the one, you can see the Marshal there just having a word with one of the Russians. The, the night marshal speaking to another Russian. I think there may have been uh, what looked like a legal bow. Coming in from the side there. Very, very strong Russian team. Thank you, now, some support for these Russians. And you can see a great takedown there. On that Fighters, big Russian. Please get ready for the second round. Můžeme slyšet, že oba tábory tady mají hodně fanoušků. 
And just a few moments there to uh, prepare for the second round of uh, Russia 1 versus Ukraine 1. Golovina from Team Russia gets yellow card for applying pressure on the knee. I uh, yes, the stamp. Uh, Stamp down. We saw before, so before it did seem like the uh, the night master at the time had accepted Second it, but in fact, the ref has been penalised. That's a yellow card for Russia. And the uh, is there. The line is a bit coming from the side there, but very, very cautious uh, fighting now from uh, this, uh, both teams, in fact. And uh, some great strikes there coming from the Russian on the side there. Uh, a good sprint coming through, which uh, puts the entire fight on this side of the list now. And uh, a lot of pressure on that Russian there. And he's not, uh, not able to... And you can see uh, two of those Ukrainians now working on taking down that Russian. And uh, they split off into two versus one versus one clinches and three of them going all on the side there and you can see the uh, pressure going out that's a take down there for Ukraine and uh, strikes coming in very aggressive there from Ukraine hacking where the head there with the foul shot and both the Russians are now holding on to the list the kicks there coming through wearing down the opponent but you can see all of the fighters starting to tie there it's incredible how try can be and uh, the fun needs to be a little bit careful not to strike the back of the knee and she may have been uh, eliminated for that reason but it didn't seem to connect with the back of the knee and uh, well, she she does have to be very very careful and the Russian they're going for a sweep big shot to the back but she's gonna have to work on that head This one could go to the to the wire as well. Some big headshots there from behind, but she uh, she may want to work out. You can see that Russia is leaning quite far forward. It might be quite beneficial, in fact, to try to go for that left leg. Still by some big headshots, but it's uh, it's quite nothing at the moment. She might do better off uh, working on the arm of the Russian. Strikes to the back. Wow, well, this, uh, this battle is uh, going right down. And uh, the Russian there, well, and the Ukrainian, showing some incredible strength. And uh, you can see closest to us, the uh, Russian are trying to go for a sweep, but when the Ukrainians are holding on to the list like that, they're not going to get any takedowns. So we see now the, the Ukrainian does not taking advantage of the, of the weight imbalance from the Russian. And uh, there it is, and it stops. Big win there for Ukraine. 3-0, Ukraine. What a great fight there from Ukraine. And I think the... Kragovskaya from Ukraine gets yellow card for punching under the knee. Uh, yeah, as we said there, she... Uh, Throwing that shot with the falchion, of course, it's an illegal move. I can see a great shots coming in from both sides, and the Russians lunge the shield into the Ukrainian. It's a nice shot there, but uh, a good movement, good body movement from the uh, Ukrainian. Following up Falchon blows with a shield thrust. Fighters, please get ready for the third round. Well, we did see a yellow card there. Well, the fight at the time wasn't disqualified, but well, she still has that penalty.
round. Fighters ready, fight! And we go to this third and final round. Uh, very, very even uh, bout between uh, Russia and Ukraine. And, uh, Ukraine is already taking it down there to the uh, to the Russian side, but the Russians come out with some great kicks. And you can see the knee there going to the body of the Ukrainian. And a uh, running strike there from the Russian. And the uh, Ukrainian now holding on to this as the uh, Russian will try to down her opponent. And uh, trying to get behind that leg, however, he does do have the beam of the list. And the Ukrainians this time holding on. And uh, well, that's a down Russian fighter, that's incredible. And this is now incredible pressure from the Ukrainian team, and they could be looking at a win here. The Russian now grips onto the list. And we'll uh, so the moves her own arm to get some. Uh, well, and she's uh, gone storming in. And uh, a nice charge there from the uh, big Ukrainian, who now applies a lot of pressure onto that Russian who is holding on to the list. You can see uh, the fatigue now, and uh, it's a very nearly a takedown there. Can't quite get it, that uh, Russian is uh, doing superbly well to stand up, and uh, the Ukrainian has to go for a push there, and it is evened up now. Oh, and that's a... Uh, as it was out there, he was holding on to the opponent when uh, when she was already grounded, so that uh, that may be a yellow card. And you can see a, a very athletic Russian there. Going to move forward for a sweep. Great support here now from the crowd are getting really involved in this tight battle there. A big lead from the Ukrainian there. Tries to prize the Russian from the side of the list. Big blow coming in from the head, wearing down the Russian, who is not going anywhere. And you can see, gripping on to each other now. And the marshal's just checking to see how they're getting hold of each other, and if it's uh, in a dangerous position using a weapon or not. And they're asked to... Uh, Split up there. Oh, that's a great take down there for Russia. Oh, that's a uh, sunny one. She has to be very, very careful. She's not striking the back of the knee there. Oh, and I think uh, Russia now will uh, be able to take down this uh, big Ukrainian who seems uh, totally out of breath. That's an arm shot, sir. Uh, to the leg there from the from the Russian. Oh, this is uh, all coming down to him. That's a great win there for Russia. Incredible victory there. Coming from a fighter down to take that. Very, very impressive. Oh, that's a 2 1 victory there. They'll be overjoyed with that really made to suffer by these strong Ukrainians. And next on the list, France won versus Netherlands won. These are the great strikes. The Republic won versus Argentina won. From these Russians. And Poland won versus France won. Teams, please get ready and come to the list. And you can see, uh, well, most of the fight was spent on the, the edge of the list there. Gripping on, and that was the, the first uh, takedown by the Ukrainian. Very impressive indeed. But the Ukrainians, unfortunately, not able to use the advantage well.
potlesk pro národní Tyhle bojovnice už jsme tady měli možnost dnes vidět. Teď ji uvidíme tedy v akci znovu. Some uh, support there from the uh, fellow members of the French team. And we are getting ready to start the fight between France one and Netherlands one. A tady, jak vidíte, tak ačkoliv se jedná o nizozemky, tak je o kombinovaný tým, který je tvořen hned několika národy. First round. Fighters ready. Fight. And we get underway, France against the Netherlands. And uh, we're very cautious uh, beginning there, but the American fighter going uh, straight into the French woman who's coming back with some great leaning shots there. Very aggressive from the German there. And uh, some nice strikes coming down with an American we saw before. Some uh, great technique, and uh, I think the Dutch fighter here will have a couple of problems if the French fighter there can move her back while she's got her upper body over the helmet of the opponent. Yes, the Dutch fighter's been downed, and the, uh, the German there still striking away at the French fighter. Uh, quite fancy to get a takedown and even the score, and uh, that's exactly how it happens. It's two versus one, however. The Dutch fighter's been uh, taken down by those two very, very athletic French fighters. A huge rush there. Coming from the side. And goes for there. A big takedown. Two to zero there. First round goes to France. I thought they've called it a uh, one zero there. Perhaps one of the fighters was considered inactive. And you can just uh, see uh, just behind there how many strikes were coming down on that uh, American representing uh, Holland, who was not be able to, who was not able to get a pole arm into strike back against the French fighter. And you can see uh, the first Dutch fighter that went down has all the weight of the French fighter on her. So we uh, move into the second round of uh, France versus Netherlands. A great rush there from these Dutch fighters. A nice strike to the head there. And, uh, keeping the, uh, the French at a good length, but they're very, very athletic, this French team. A nice uh, rush going in there from the Dutch fighter, and it's two against one. They'll be working to hammer down on that French body who's pushed right back into the list there. The two pole arm wielders holding high. So you can see the height of that French fighter there. And uh, you know, the French fighter kind of strike down on the legs there, and that's a, that's a double takedown there. So the French fighter very frustrated with that. And we still have these two skirmishes going on. The great strikes there from the French fighter. See, it's a nice uh, push there, looking for a sweep. And that's a big run there from the Dutch fighter. Doesn't quite manage to come in strong enough. And, uh, and uh, that's a big take down there. So two French fighters against one Dutch fighter. And they're pulling down, and it's a great take down there. Very good work there from France. And that's a good result there. And next on the list, Czech Republic 1 versus Argentina 1. Poland 1 versus France 1. 
and Finland one versus Netherlands one. Teams, please get ready and come you to the You can see there was a charge from the Dutch fighter, but uh, for winning for a high strike rather than a low, which uh, didn't make a big difference to uh, to the balance. She tries to get away, and you can see how the French fighter there tried to push down, but uh, was on the way down herself. Hi, which team do you support? Uh, USA. Great. We can see that you've been watching the fight here all morning. Uh, what is interesting for you? What is more interesting, female or male category? Um, as when the females are able to do fives, I think it will be just as interesting. The strategy for threes and fives are different, um, so they're not they're not the same thing. Just as fives and twenty ones are different. Um, so I'm really excited for them to be able to do fives very soon, and um, they're going to be just as entertaining or even more than the men. Would you like to try it yourself? Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to be suiting up with some of the ladies in November back home. Um, I'm not sure if I'll fight, but um, I'm going to go a few rounds and see what it's like. So maybe next year we will see you here at Battle of the Nations. Maybe, no promises. <laughs> we hope to see you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your time here. Thank you. Argentina now stepping into the list. I had, to, had some great results uh, yesterday in the Bohorts, the 5 versus 5 in the men's category. And now uh, welcome in the Czech fighters. Between Czech Republic one and Argentina one. And a very, very open. Back to the helmet, it does have the, of course, the, the nose protection. There seems to be quite a bit of rust on the chainmail. At least it seems from here, though I may be wrong. Very strong. Fighters ready. Fight! And Argentina, Czech Republic. But a uh, nice switch there from the uh, Argentinians. But they've been forced back into this and some uh, they're facing some great aggression from the checks there. Some great thrust to the shield. Not precise shots and uh, a lot of fighters using the maces there. There's a big shots coming in uh, and that's her first takedown there. And uh, in fact the Argentina cannot keep her footing there. Well that's a real shame for the Argentinian but she was leading all the way forward to take down that Czech fighter. And the, the Czech fighter is now dishing out the punishment. The uh, Argentina not able to deflect too many of those uh, big shots coming in from the back there with the pole arm. And a big knee coming in there on the Czech fighter. And a sort of height advantage for the Czech Republic as the Argentinians are forced back to back into each other and the crowd get right behind the Czechs there. And the shot still coming in against the uh, Argentinian and that's a takedown there. Stunning work from the Czech Republic. So now these two Czech fighters can go to work on this final Argentinian fighter who is going for a takedown. That's a double takedown. 1-0 Czech Republic. Great Please win there for the, for the Czech Republic. I'm <laughs> sure there's some great... Uh, Strategy there from the Argentinians switching sides. And, uh, trying to get a grip on these uh, Czech fighters who were very, very aggressive and great shots with the maces coming in there. Second round. Fighters ready, fight! Now we go into the second round of this uh, three round fight. Nice sprint there, a rush start from the uh, Argentinians, but it's met with the opposition there from the Czechs, who is actually out of the list. And a great uh, move there, some strikes coming down from these Argentinians who uh, 
Oh, with a big kick there, again, trying to get another of the Czech fighters out of this by pushing her under the barriers. And all uh, the action happening on that side of the list. Big shots coming through for the uh, Argentinians there. Uh, they're gonna... I don't think any of the Czech fighters you have, or yes, one uh, fighter has got uh, um, on the edge of this, so uh, you know, arms caught up there. She's not able to get, she's not able to get free there, and will not be able to use that long uh, pole arm big shot there with a the shield to the head of the Czech fighter. Uh, now I think uh, all the weight that's coming down on, the, on that second Czech fighter, it may. Uh, more than it's worth if it takes down two Argentinians and uh, double take down there. So we have the two Argentinians now working to take down this Brazilian Czech fighter. He's got the pole arm and uh, now trying to wrap it around the opponent to pull her down. It's a nice shot coming in from the Argentinians there, and the, uh, the Marshal is just uh, breaking up the action there. And yes, in fact, uh, I think the, the Poland was held in quite a dangerous position, therefore called a break in the action. And uh, there we go, for a double takedown. Victory goes to Argentina there to take it to a third and final round. 1-0, Argentina. And we're going to have a third round. No, ale ještě není konec. Češky čeká třetí kolo, ve kterém můžou rozhodnout o svém vítězství. Cheer on the Czech Republic. We go into the third and final round. Of course, you start from both teams there. And uh, two Czech fighters trying to uh, work on that shorter arch. Did with some very aggressive shots to the head of the leaning over. And it's a good take down there for Argentina. And we'll be looking now to close in on the other side of the list. You have some great aggressive shots again from Argentina. Forcing these uh, Czech fighters against the list on a double takedown to make it two against one. Great kick there from the Argentinian strikes to the head there. Working on that uh, leg, trying to sweep it out. And, uh, I kind of think that uh, it's a great shot uh, to the arm there. Trying to release that arm from the list. She can't hold it there forever. Away at it. Some uh, strikes there uh, to the shoulder, of course. These are uh, someone they're going for a nice uh, sweep there. If the Argentinians can coordinate themselves, and uh, I think the uh, in fact, the uh, Argentinian there has been eliminated. I'm not sure what that was for, but uh, the Argentinian going for a big takedown there, but it's a double takedown. Zero for both teams. Now we go to a fourth round. And the 
Argentinian being reprimanded there for that, and maybe a yellow card. Well, it wasn't, she wasn't just split up from the action, but she was uh, actually eliminated. You can see there a great run from uh, the Argentinian getting straight into it. Big strikes coming down, however, on the Argentinian side. a pretty good take down there from that uh, Argentinian who was later reprimanded. Sofia Sualdo from Team Argentina gets yellow card for punch into food. I didn't quite understand uh, what the uh, what the announcer said there, but it was a legal move anyway, so it's a yellow card. Fourth round. Fighters ready. Fight. Been uh, drawn out to uh, a fourth round here. And some uh, early pressure from those uh, Argentinians against that big Argentinian there. And uh, the fighter's actually lost her helmet, so she is already out. The bigger uh, helmet was actually stuck on uh, the weapon of the Argentinian there. We'll, uh, take it to the uh, Czech fighters, a double take down there, so it's two against one. And no. Am I going for a takedown? Stop and pushed out of the list, uh, pushed down there. The two the list. zero, Argentina. And with the result, result two to one, the victory goes to Argentina one. A great win there for Argentina. But a big cheer for the Czech Republic. And next on the list, Poland one versus France one. And then Finland one versus Netherlands one. Teams, please get ready and come to the least. You can see uh, there was a lot of pressure from the, the skirmish behind, but a nice twist there meant there was a double takedown, making it easier for the two Argentinians piling on the pressure there. That Czech fighter. Fighter Martina from Argentina One gets yellow card for gripping the blade of her weapon. Hi, which team do you represent? Argentina. That's great. Uh, congratulations that you have started uh, fighting here at Battle of the Nations. What does your family and friends think about uh, well, you fighting? Of course, I'm crazy about it. But I, I was always crazy about it. We are really, all the family from Argentina and Quebec think that we are crazy about it. And we are. But does your family support you? Do they like what you do? Well, they support us a lot. They think this is really, really rush, but they know that this is a sport with rules, with marshals, with our official represent representation, with HMBA, and all our family support us really much. Thank you very much. Good luck. Great spirit there. The Argentinian team will be very happy with the win. They just banged against the Czech Republic. Uh, there was, however, a yellow card 
Another yellow card issued, so that was two in total just for that fight alone across the four rounds. And it was in fact issued uh, for grabbing the opponent's First weapon. Round. Fighters ready, fight! And uh, the aggressive French team now face this uh, mix, but uh, very rapid. You can see the rushes there uh, from the Polish, and a very, very quick Israeli fighter who darts across the list for a big takedown there. And you can see the Australian holding on to that French fighter. It's two against three now. And uh, the hidden advantage there is uh, it's all for France. However, he's Polish looking for a take in there. The, uh, the Israeli right there grabbing a bottle, um, which I believe, uh, yes, it is actually called. So there was some hesitation. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Medics, please come to the list. I'm not sure if uh, there was a shot there because of armor coming loose. Medics, please come to the list. I can see it. Right, so let's see if we can uh, get what happened to that uh, French fighter the just on the right the there. Round, zero, I want to take the round there. If you saw the uh, the fights yesterday, you'll uh, you'll have seen that there were a couple of uh, incidents where the medics had to intervene and the fighters were taken to hospital. But we've had updates from then. Uh, one of the the fighters unfortunately has, uh, has a fractured leg. Um, two of the fighters were taken in, but they're in good condition now. We all, we all hope that she will be okay. So, applause for her.
tomu zranění došlo tím způsobem, že jedna z polských soupeřek zasáhla francouzsku zezadu do krku, tak teď maršálové řeší, jak k tomuto přistoupí. Protože právě údery zezadu na krk jsou tady velice přísně trestány. Tak vypadá to, že už tu máme verdikt a půlky byly potrestány jakýmsi vyloučením, takže nastoupí... Maja Olča from Team Poland gets red card for, for being he that caused an injury. Ano, přesně tak, tak, to, tak to to mohli slyšet. That's uh, the first, excuse me, the first red card of the tournament there, and it uh, seems to cause quite a serious injury to the uh, French fighter who's getting medical attention now. And a big takedown there from the French, and the fighter's been stopped right there. And that's a good fight there from the French team. And we're going to have the third round. Yeah, I didn't see the... Uh, due to the position of the uh, fighters, I didn't quite see the extent of the... Uh, the attack from the Polish fighter, which resulted in a red card. That means, of course, she is... Uh, Unable to participate in any of the remaining battles in this edition of Battle of the Nations. And, uh, and a nice clash there uh, from the Pulse. Some great speed from this Australian fighter here. And a very, very impressive. Uh, campaign going straight into the French fighter who is waiting for her with that big kick and the uh, that strong and very very fast Israeli fighter has, uh, was was held down and I don't think the, uh, the French fighter made a very good decision to uh, to give her that sort of freedom I didn't give her any space at all she's going to come in for a rush attack as she's doing now Charles is in but uh, you can see the, uh, the French fighter both French was having a big height advantage, and uh, you can see the strength of that, uh, that Israeli fighter there. As they go twisting into the corner of the list, exchange of blows there. And, uh, the, the Marshal just spinning up two of the fighters there, and uh, very, very nearly got a takedown. Uh, you can see them charging away at that Israeli fighter, and there's a counter charge, a big attack there from the Australian. 
It was then taken down, and that is very impressive work there from the French fighter. The Israeli fighter thrown back. Turn around the list, and uh, they start hacking away. And so she's now lost her weapon, so she's eliminated from the fight. And time is called there. They'll keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. They've uh, so they can keep on fighting, but uh, I don't see how. There's only one. I said it's only two versus one there, so I think the uh, and uh, double take down there. Some sign. In fact, uh, one of the France fighters was actually eliminated there, and perhaps for, well, sorry, for an illegal move. And for the result, two to one, the victory goes to France one. And next on the list, Finland one versus Netherlands one. Woo! Teams, please get ready and come to the list. And you can see there, big attack from that Australian who goes for a leg swipe as well, but is. Uh, countered by the French fighter who comes in with a huge throw. Big move there, and you have the Israeli fighter on the ground now. They haven't requested medical attention, but she seems to be in some discomfort. Well, uh, you saw the French fighter who was uh, taken away by medics and still receiving medical attention. Congratulations, it's been epic, really, really great. How do you feel right now? Pretty good. It's it's good to it's good to win. It's good to work as a team, and uh, we each have our strengths, and so it's really impressive to see us work together. So far in your group, which team has been the most challenging, and why? Um, well, now we just I mean against Poland, it's the most difficult, but that's because they have someone from Israel on their team and someone from Australia on the team, and so I wasn't even like fighting Poland; it was like fighting three different countries together, and that was a little harder than normal. Unfortunately, there was an injury at the least. Do you know what happened? Yeah, when the when our teammate bent over, you could see the back of her neck, and the girl tapped directly on her skin on the back of her neck, and so she fell, and she's going to the hospital. We hope that everything will be okay and she will recover soon. And we wish you good luck. Thank you. Good luck. And he just heard it there. And it exposed part of the body. And uh, the Polish struck it. So, it's only red card. And we hope that, that French fighter will be okay. We'll uh, keep you updated on the progress later as we hear from, uh, from the medics and the hospital. And right now we are having the fight between Finland 1 and Netherlands 1. First round, fighters ready, fight! 
And we get underway with Finland versus the Netherlands. So Finland uh, fielding a full, uh, team just with one uh, mercenary there from uh, Serbia. And the Netherlands uh, collaborating with the German fighter who gets a big takedown there. And also saying, uh, also with this American who was very, very impressive in the first fight. Some great aggression there shown from the German who comes in with some strikes and there is a... Uh, been stopped there, I'm not exactly sure why, or... 3-0, Netherlands! And the Finnish team have been... Uh, have been taken out there. Please get ready for the second round. I'm still uh, a little unsure why. It seemed that the, the Serbian was still up, I think they're... There might be a mistake there on the part of the marshals. Well, I think they'll have to replay. You can see. Uh, it's a nice weather again. Uh, both uh, the American and the German striking away on that Finnish fighter. And we will continue the first round. Two versus two. <laughs> And that's, a, that's quite a big mistake on the part of the marshals there. However, with these different coloured uh, sword coats, it is difficult to uh, sometimes make out who is fighting on which team. At least the Dutch have actually identified uh, their mercenaries with the, uh, uh, the sashes of black and orange. Some nice strikes down there from the Finn on the American fighter. Who's uh, resisting and can't quite make use of that uh, uh, pole arm, but there's been a double takedown in the corner there of the German and the Serbian, so it goes down to one versus one here. And uh, the American is taken down on Finland, after start off in a difficult position, have come through. Please get ready for the second round. Well, that's. Uh, very impressive there from uh, from Finland. Great start there. It's a nice uh, strike with the shield there from that uh, very strong finish with some great punches. From that American representing the Netherlands. Ready. And Fight. Uh, second round gets underway. Very nice support. They're coming from the, uh, from the Finns uh, in the crowd there. And the uh, Finns go charging into the Dutch fighter there. Look at that strong uh, American fighter using the pole arm there. And uh, one of the Netherlands fighters is already taken down. And uh, some hacking strikes there from the Finn on the American. And so you can see these two fighters here. And um, there's another takedown. However, a Finnish fighter will be taken out because she was... Uh, well, I thought she was on a knee. Apparently not. And the situation now for this Dutch fighter has just become conquered. And that's it. And with the result 2 to 0, the victory goes to Finland 1. Great work there from the Finns. And that was the last fight in group stage. In women's group battles category 3 versus 3. And right now we are ready to start the playoff. And the first fight. France 1 versus Ukraine 1. And Russia 1 versus Poland 1. Teams, please get ready and come to the least.
five. Which team do you represent? I represent Finland. You've just you've just been fighting. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a little bit exhausted. Your impression after the fight? How has it been for you? Are you satisfied with the result? Uh, can you? <laughs> Are you satisfied with the result? Of course, of course. Uh, which which team in your group has been the most difficult for you, and why? Which team? Uh, I would say France or Poland. They are very strong opponents. Yes, and I think they have more experience than us. Is this your first, very first year as a fighter at Battle of the Nation? Yes, very first. How do you train back at home? Uh, I train with my friends <laughs> and I go Krav Maga. Do you have any special diet or...? No, 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 no. Does your family support you? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. We wish you good luck. We rejoin the fighters in this Ukraine now. Who uh, had a great fight against Russia earlier. Uh, getting the first round, though, the Russians, however, did come back and proven himself a formidable force. And they will be. Uh, Against France in. And we just wait for the uh, French team to join us in the list here. Uh, as you heard, we are now in the uh, uh, playoff stage. And uh, the Ukraine is actually leaving the uh, list there. Right now we are going to have 15 minutes break. And we go to a break there, so don't go away. We'll be right back, 15 minutes. And we'll go into that France versus Ukraine. Where are you from and what is your role here at Battle of the Nations? Hello, I'm Tina. I'm from Moldova, from Chisinau. So I'm the female marshal. We know that you are the only one female, active female marshal. Uh, yes, of course. It's two years. Like, I'm uh, honest. We have another marshal, but uh, she not come. The, it's a second Battle of the Nation that she won't come. Uh, do you judge only female categories or also male categories? I'm judging only females uh, in the field, but uh, above the field I'm uh, judging both. Uh, what is the difference between female uh, judging female and male categories? I think uh, it's a kind of politic a little bit. And, uh, you know, uh, the last year it was a big difference between uh, Behert's women one and the men one. But this year girls are showing a really good technique and uh, they're fast, they have uh, uh, good strikes and they're great. But we have and some injuries too. It, it, it's a bad part of that. Uh, have you been a fighter yourself? Have you tried it yourself? I was uh, training only, but for me it was a big injury and I could not go to the competition or championship. But I had uh, some... Um, um, <laughs> I have uh, I have been a uh, referee in uh, different sports, uh, like paintball or taekwondo. Uh, the paintball seems with the uh, uh category because there are five versus five who are moving uh, in the field, and uh, taekwondo is more than uh, like uh, one versus one. 
if I want to become a well female marshal, what do I have to do? Where do I go? Where do I train? How to get this experience? I think that more experience you have to get in your country or in the country nearby. I'm training in Moldavia, but not more uh, much because we have no much competition. But I, I've gone to Ukraine and trained it there. Uh, so uh, I mm, I can say that to become a marshal, you have to be. Uh, Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, you ha have to want this. If you want to be a marshal, you will be. You have to not listen to others, marshals, or maybe mans that they are saying that you are not good for that. You are good, and I'm sure. Is it difficult to work with men because you are surrounded by male marshals, actually? Oh, I'm used to it. Okay. <laughs> What do you like it? Uh, what do you like here at Battle of the Nations? Why do you like historical medieval battle? Uh, it's a kind of the other life, because uh, in modern life uh, I have my role, but here it's another thing. And you know this adrenaline that you are on the field when you are moving between the fighters. It's a great thing, really. Thank you very much. We wish you good luck, and we want to see you next year here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>